They're uh, handheld. She says, I see it. There we go. <laughs> this is she's fancy. A, she's a supporter. Oh, yeah. That's right. so cute. Let me get my little, last little bit of Ma Moscow Mule here. They're feeding us Moscow mules and chocolate covered bacon over there. Chocolate covered bacon? Yeah. It's amazing. It was, it's awesome. What's, did you try some? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it These, it's delicious. a Mexican mule I keep forgetting because I, I needed to feel like I was back home. I, I, I'm looking forward to getting back home on Friday. So. Where's home? I live in San Antonio. Oh, so that's amazing. It's wonderful. I, I like Antonio. it. San Antonio. That's a nice city. It is. Come down. Come for a visit. Well, well, we, we have a Power BI user group in San Antonio. I come to Texas all the time, not yeah? to San Antonio specifically. Where do you go? Uh, I'm from uh, the Waco area oh, okay. originally. Okay, just up the so, road. That's so right. Oh no, went, two Texans. So I went to Texas A&M for uh, school. Uh, we, are you a UT person? Yes, ma'am. That's uh, where the SharePoint Longhorn came from. That's his handle, SharePoint Longhorn, or was. Yeah, for a long time. Yeah. And then I switched it to be a name, but. It's okay, I'm sure you're still lovely. I, I try, you know? As right. much fun as we like to make of A&M, uh, we, we, we can all hate the Sooners, right? Yes. There you go. Sure. See, at least we got that going on. So <laughs> I know I know we're, we're live now on, on the Book of Faces, right? Sweet. Well, hi. Hello. <laughs> Since we've already started with the with the talky-talky part of the uh, of the podcast time, uh, welcome to the Bifocal Show. We're glad we actually get to have you Thank on you. here. It's and excited it's, it's, to be here. It's great to finally meet you in person. <laughs> yes. I yeah, I seen you guys online. I listened to your session, your uh, podcast with Will back at the Embass. Another, an, an, another uh, listener. Wow, How about that. Uh -huh. I'm telling Thank you. Thank you. Well, you know, you, you had a good interview there, John. That was you good. Did very well. That was so, good. I enjoyed uh, it. But yeah, we've gotten an opportunity to meet most of your team at this point. I don't think there's anybody that's here that we haven't had a chance to I think at least chat true. with. <clears throat> I, know, I know that Will was going to try and drop by. We have the extra chair for him if he decides to make it. Who knows whether he's going to be able to or not. <laughs> we were lucky enough. Uh, we got asked to do one podcast at the show. And then last week they decided to reach out and say, hey, would you like to do the big stage show? Oh, Which we did fancy. yesterday, yes. Yeah. That's and, so fancy. Yeah. Yeah. And apparently we, we were uh, not obnoxious enough to where they didn't want us back. So they invited us back again for today. So here we are. You guys so, are getting really fancy. I'm you're telling fam you. You're famous. Oh, well, I, that'll change after this week. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been a lot of fun. This has been a good show. There's been lots of, of great Power BI conversations. But since our audience hasn't had a chance to meet you yet, and, and we have, well, I have. I got to spend a little bit of time with you at the booth. But John didn't get to meet you until recently. Would you mind introducing yourself to our audience? Yeah. Um, my name's Amanda Kosky. I'm a PM for the Power BI desktop team. Uh, my main area of focus on the desktop is reporting and visual related features. So things like the bookmarking feature, visual formatting stuff, report page tooltips, <laughs> all of those are mine. You know, I'm all, I'm all about the visuals and the fun. You know, forget the boring modeling and query <laughs> stuff, all about creating the report and the fun visuals. That's awesome. I've got to get you connected to Maya on our team. So uh, as much as people, you know, I don't know if you've seen the Twitter thing for Ignite that uh, we put together uh, and the layouts for it. As, as much as I always get credit for it, it's Maya who actually <laughs> came up with the visual design. So she appreciates it as much as you. So it's, it's fun and it's also difficult. People don't, everyone always talks about how hard modeling and you know getting the data in the right shape is. And it's, that's definitely hard, but there's a design element to creating reports and it's important. If you don't design your report well, you know, people aren't going to be able to get the right information out of it. It's so. critical. It's impact, it right? As, you yeah. know, that's when people, if it, when it jumps out of the page at you. That's, that's, that's the thing that the, the decision makers are actually going to see and interact with. So it's important that it looks good and gets you the right information. You only get one chance to make a first impression. Exactly. Uh, it, now, now, in addition to all that stuff, you are also the person, I don't know, responsible for it, but you take the burden on communicating all of the release document, well, I don't know if you're writing it all yourself, but you're certainly communicating it all every single month. I mean, there's enough that we pretty much dedicated one podcast a month to, to cover it off. So. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, we, we uh. basically walk through your post and just read it. <laughs> <laughs> we occasionally insert some of our own opinions and, and perspectives on it, but oh, that's good. Uh, it's, it's great that you, you're able to do that because a lot of people will go out and find bits and pieces of it, but we try to make it a little bit more consumable and right. you know, explain what some of these features and the interactions between them mean. Um, but definitely the, the stuff that you guys are doing around bookmarking and the drill through stuff, 
mm -hmm. especially inside of all of the reports, has been huge. Getting to show off some of that stuff. You know, the Ignite schedule builder that you guys put together. Yeah. You know, very, very much uses all of those features. It's Hover really over good a session, stuff. see details oh, about the, details, the sessions, yeah. drill through to the detail on the page, and yeah, all that stuff. Those those features are really good in terms of visual design as well because you know you don't want to overwhelm the user too much at one time. So you you show up a high level at first, and then at, when they indicate that they're actually interested, either through right clicking to drill through or hovering over it, that's whenever you uh, choose to disclose the extra information. So I'd, I'd really useful. I, I, if you want some feedback, <laughs> I, I, would, I love feedback. Please, I would love that drill through option to be more discoverable. It's a little mm -hmm. hard, you know, to right click right there now and, right. and down through a menu item and. It's not obvious, you have to tell people right. about it, but yeah. Yeah, we, we've discussed doing some things like, we have our buttons now for bookmarking, and we've discussed also the, the ability, adding the ability to be able to have a button that would do the drill through. No uh, exact dates planned for that, but it's definitely something that we've discussed and we would like to do at some point. Outstanding, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll be keeping my eye on it. <laughs> yeah, one of the things I really like that you guys did recently was the changes to the canvas, where things snap in properly. And oh yeah. Totally, totally different feel to how the layout of reports is, and it's oh, yeah. really, really good to see, and makes it a lot easier to be able to interact and, and get things exactly in that, not quite pixel perfect, you know, because that's what RDL is for, but, right. you know, it almost feels the same way. Right. And it's really great to, to get to lay it out exactly the way you want it, not have those constraints, be able to still get to everything where the buttons, you know, you move them around where you need to, so mm -hmm. it's, it's good stuff. But, how did you come to the Power BI team? I'm curious, you know, because we've asked this question of, of most people that we've been talking with, because this team, you know, you guys are doing such great stuff and have all come together in such a really powerful way. How did you come to the team? Um, I, I was actually a college hire. So I went, like I mentioned earlier, I went to Texas A&M. A&M has a great career fair. Good college to go to, recommend it, <laughs> love it. They, they uh, Microsoft recruits from there. And so I was applying to Microsoft as a PM. I knew, I, I went to school as computer science, but I knew I didn't want to program. Like I didn't actually want to code anything myself. So I uh, decided I wanted to be a PM and explore that that route. And so I applied to Microsoft. And I, I don't, this is a little over five years ago now, so likely their, their interview process is different. But I actually kind of just looked into the Power BI team. Uh, they don't at the time. They at least didn't let you specify what team you wanted to interview for, mm -hmm. mostly because I think they assume everyone in college is going to just say, "I want to work for Xbox." <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't get to pick. You could like say, "Oh, I'm kind of interested in you know Office or something like that," but they basically just assign you to where you're going to what team you're interviewing for. And I got assigned to at the time reporting services was the team I was going to get assigned to but by the time I finished college and got in it had already changed to be at that time PowerView and then eventually morphed into the Power BI team and so I've been on the team for the my I've been at Microsoft for five years a little over and I've been a, on the team the whole time since then and I've jumped around to a bunch of own, areas of ownership I've been, oh, I own reporting now. At one point, I owned admin capabilities in the Power BI service. I did a lot of community stuff at one point. I still do, but mm -hmm. that was like my main focus for a little while. So I've, I've hopped around, but always within the Power BI space. And I feel like I'm pretty lucky. I love the team. Everyone's amazing. We're, we're, we're pretty big fans of the team as well. Now, you had a session yesterday morning, right? Yes. Unfortunately, we were podcasting exactly mm -hmm. at the same time. <laughs> we were rather disappointed that we weren't able to come over to your session. Uh, what type of stuff did you guys talk about in your session yesterday? Well, I, I think it's okay you didn't come because you would have been bored in it. It was more <laughs> of an intro session. Uh, it was a great session for people who are new to Power BI. You guys are experts. You don't you don't need it anymore. But uh, I co-presented with Will Thompson, who who you've like I said you've interviewed before. Um, and what we did was we covered from from basically start to finish, like how to use the Power BI desktop from an introduction standpoint. Like he. he we demoed query, basic query editing, modeling, visualization stuff, and we gave a lot of tips and tricks as well for people who are getting started on how to learn and stay up to date, things like that. Um, so if you are new, if anyone's listening and they are new to Power BI Desktop or they know someone who's just started getting started, it's a really good session to go back and watch because we cover a lot of tips and tricks. 
in there. Cool. We, we saw some um, some new stuff today in Miguel Yopez's uh, session as well. He was he was drilling in on Power Query and some of the enhancements oh, yeah. that There's are a coming. Lot of good stuff I, coming I there. guess in October, right? I think is the, is the next one. I don't. Re our next release is in October, and there I don't know what he demoed specifically, but we have some really big query editor features so, uh, coming. This, the, uh, the the column distribution, you know, the preview the, of yeah, that the, stuff. The, yeah. The profiler stuff. That's yep. it. Yep. The profile. That is that is outstanding and. Uh, and uh, also, I, I, I mentioned it in the podcast yesterday, I'll mention it again, that uh, it was nice of you to give uh, Adam permission to announce the, my, <laughs> what will be my favorite feature. Okay, right behind aggregations. <laughs> but my, my other favorite feature for the year, certainly my favorite UI feature, which will be the ability to copy and paste visuals oh, between from between Power BI, BI desktop files. files. Yep, yes. yep. That's coming in the next couple of months, very soon. Yes, yes, yeah. Not October, but very soon. I, I think Adam said November yesterday. That, that's so. where we're aiming at. <laughs> now, I don't like think anything. Facebook had heard that one yet because we weren't actually streaming live yesterday when he said it. Yeah. It's, it's in the recording that'll go up on YouTube. But that's true. Uh, yeah, so that was that was that's exciting stuff. Oh, yeah. That is something that on a very regular basis I am trying to do things between different different reports, and that will make it much easier for me personally after I've built something out just to be able to do that copy paste. Now I'm curious, is it individual visual by visual, or are you going to be able to do uh, you know a report page by report by page? What do you think? We're the, the first release is going to focus on visuals. You'll be able to do more than just one visual, so if you control click something, you copy oh, them. Yeah. But we're not going to have, at least with the first release, the ability to copy the whole page. Um, you know, Power BI, we like to get your feedback, <laughs> and then we incrementally improve things. That's generally how we ship, so um, that, that we could always add in the ability to do pages as well if there's enough interest, but the first thing is visuals. Um, and it's that feature is kind of part of a broader initiative of us. You know, mm -hmm. we're focusing a lot on enterprises now. You can tell that from like the aggregations feature, yep. incremental refresh, and I mean this feature is very different than aggregations, but it, it targets the same type of people. People who you know their livelihoods is building BI reports for their big corporations, and mm -hmm. you know at that point, I mean you kind of need to operationalize and you know make your life easy to be able to do that, and so. I mean, this is one of those features. It helps with scale. I mean, it, oh, is, yeah. it is really an enterprise thing. I know uh, I mentioned Maya before. Something else she's taken to doing in our in our core product stuff is there's a hidden page in all of our reports <laughs> for template page template. And just oh. for consistency, you can copy and you know you basically create a new page. You start with that template, and so you get our look and feel and all of that stuff right. inherited right away. So, yeah, for what it's worth, that might be something to look at adding to the core product. But we figured it out already. So. That's a great idea to add a hidden page. Yeah. It's yeah. Like, a, I thought a good it was. One. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> I love that. I'm going to start recommending that. Yeah, uh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> there, there's Very a tip cool. for all of those who are listening, <laughs> and I can't take credit for it. So, <laughs> well, you know, and, and you, you mentioned the feedback. Uh, you know, and we, we try to make sure that people understand the feedback loop that you guys do. Ideas.powerbi.com is the main yes. avenue, but uh, we heard this week that you all read all of the comments on the blog posts as well. Oh um, yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, I didn't get to do it this month for October because I was on vacation. <laughs> you know, we're, we're in Orlando. I went to Disney. But uh, nice. uh, generally, every single month, I will read every single comment, and not just me, but all the other PMs. We read every comment. We try to reply to all the questions. You know, we get nagged by people if we don't do it. <laughs> it's a definitely something we do, and we take that feedback. We've uh, one example of something that we've taken feedback from the comments is, is that uh, we added the ability to uh, at one point increase uh, decrease change the width of the line so you can make it one pix our defaults two pixels we could do one to I don't know ten or something and there was someone who commented how come not zero and the very that was like oh that's really easy so the very next month we shipped being able to set it back down to zero nice. so right we do take those feedbacks for from the comments and some a lot of times they're bigger stuff that we can't initially you know immediately next month respond to but we do read them all and if it's something small and easy a lot of times we can sneak those things in so oh, cool so the squeaky wheel does indeed get degrees it's worth chiming mm -hmm. in that, that's fantastic yeah, oh, we, yeah. We, we we generally uh there, there's a guy on your team that we we squeak at quite a bit uh you know being sharepoint guys uh <laughs> the, as john and i are we tend to uh, harass chris finland quite a bit uh <laughs> and so we, we had a whole section of the show yesterday dedicated to uh Harassing Chris. Yeah, yeah, working with and harassing Chris <laughs> Finland. So make sure oh, that you do awesome. that for us when you get back home. Because uh, we, 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 we take as much as we give with him. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> and that's one of the great things that we've enjoyed working with your team is that the feedback, you know, 
it's not just the ideas.powerbi.com stuff, it's, it's all of this that you guys are taking in and improving the product in such a rapid fashion. Uh, and you know, we are lucky that we get to interact with your team on such a regular basis, uh, but you know, not everybody does. And that's part of why we get to do this podcast and spend our time doing this, is trying to make sure people hear and understand. So I'm curious from your perspective, we've asked again, a couple of different folks this question, you know, looking out the next three months, what, what do you have that's exciting that you guys are working on? Obviously, the, the copy paste between uh, desktop files is one, which John is giddy over. What else has you excited that you guys have, have planned at this point? You know, right. Not necessarily timelines, we don't need timelines, but just <laughs> what has you excited? What's, what's of interest to you? Um, well, be, my focus being on reporting, a lot of the things that are exciting to me fall into that space. The copy and pasting, of course, is one. Uh, we are also actively working on things like uh, making our matrix more usable and more similar to, say, a pivot table in Excel, which people come a lot of times come from that world. So we're working on adding in, you know, the little plus and minuses that everyone loves in mm -hmm. the pivot table. That's a big so, one. Yeah, we're working on that. Yeah, that was another idea that came from user voice as well. It's top top page, front page. Same with the copy and pasting. Front page of user voice, and we're working on those. Uh, we're also working a lot on usability things in terms of creating reports. So something that we're planning on adding is also c coming from the office world. Is if you use PowerPoint, you know, you have those little red lines that guide you to align things yeah. together. Uh -huh. We are working on that as well. So we that will be shipping. Be we will be shipping nice little red snapping lines to to align your reports. Wow, that's really nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's a lot about usability, and again, that goes back to the enterprise thing, which is our main focus. Is whenever you're building out reports for enterprise, you're doing a lot of them, and it's got to be quick and easy to do. And so those are I, some examples. When, when you talk about you know, the enterprise being your main focus, man, that's, to me, those are the little things that are, are for the every person, not just for the enterprise. It's awesome that you guys are focused and thinking about the enterprise, mm -hmm. but that trickles down to every small like in, individual contributor regardless of size that they get to have that that's that's fantastic and you know I, I made a, a little bit of fun several episodes ago when John told me that you guys were focused on you know trying to become more like PowerPoint in nature right. I was like oh please that's that scared me a little bit, but hearing more and more about it, and I, I'm Why would that scare you? Well, because, the, 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 you ever heard the term death by PowerPoint? I never want to hear the term <laughs> death by Power BI. Like, the, the difference be, being that ideas get talked about in, in the abstract in PowerPoint, mm -hmm. and they get talked about in detail and in fact in Power, Power BI. BI. Right. So for me, I, like, you're getting to the root and, and to the facts in data in Power BI, but taking those design elements, taking that usability, which is fantastic. I, when John first told me that, I was like, oh no, they're going to do animations in, <laughs> in, in Power BI. You and I'm going to get in trouble. That, right? I know. I'm going to get in trouble because I'm going to use it all the time. The bubble chart is a fantastic animation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, we get a request for animation, especially once we ship bookmarking. One of the first questions we got were can we animate between the different bookmarks? Oh, yeah. So we definitely get requests for animations, but I, I think you 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 brushed upon the, the what we mean by making it like PowerPoint. It, it's all about that usability aspect of it and how easy it is and quick it is to create things. We're not we're not trying to turn Power BI into some like you know like pretty you know stuff you show real quickly in meetings before real discussions happen. The Power BI is all about the data, and that's always going to be the meat of what we are. Um, but we want it, you know like. High schoolers know how to create power uh, PowerPoint decks. Yes. I mean, I remember creating them in you know like elementary school even. So I think uh, they had punch cards when I was in high school. <laughs> well, they did actually have punch cards when I was in high school. So. Uh, it's a generational <laughs> thing. But my kids are learning. Uh, my kids are in third and fifth grade, and they are learning to use PowerPoint. PowerPoint it's yeah. one of those things that, you know, part one of the book reports that they do is, you know, create a PowerPoint slide with, you know, different imagery of, of the book that you read and things like that. So yeah, it's a it's definitely a real thing at young ages. I will be interested to see if Power BI becomes that ubiquitous to uh, to that smaller age set where, you know, hey, I'm gonna do my homework, I'm gonna spin it up in Power BI. I'm just gonna That'd build a data model, <laughs> do a transform. If, 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 if I do, if I only do this much homework, what grade will I get and do some predictive <laughs> analytics? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Well, thank you so much well, for coming. Well, and I, I have time, to ask John. this though. Do you, do you always wear the, car, the 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 product colors <laughs> when, when you come to work? 
That's perfect. <laughs> I know. I'm very on brand, aren't you I? You are completely on brand. I always make sure I wear this outfit at every conference I go to. I don't wear it every day. Okay. I, I, I'm not Steve Jobs. I don't have, like, an attire that I wear every day. But I got really – I shop at Target a lot. Target <laughs> plug. I got really excited Target. when I saw this, this outfit on a, a mannequin at Target. So I had to buy it. That's outstanding. Yeah, there's a developer advocate <laughs> that I'm friendly with who's out of San Francisco who every single day she wears yellow. Every day. Every oh, wow. single day. There's something in her wardrobe that every single day she oh, wears yellow. Because not everybody pulls off yellow. You know, uh, Adam Saxton was wearing his highlighter shirt the other day. Yeah, that and, was a little uh, bit. I don't remember who the, was picking on him, but yeah. Oh, was... yeah, I have that polo. I never wear it. <laughs> well, Will was wearing a slightly different polo that they were affectionately referring to as mustard. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they have another name mustard. for it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's mustard. I was teasing him for the mustard yellow, too. It's hard to get the right Power BI color in a shirt. I can understand it that. <laughs> but how has the trade show floor been for you? How's the expo been? Because I, I, every time I see you, I've seen you at the at the expo hall. So how has the, the traffic been? How's the show been for you? Oh, it's been so busy. <laughs> I'm getting tired. It's amazing, though. I'm getting tired because of how great our community is. There's so many people coming up, wanting to talk to us, asking great questions. And it's a testament to how great our community is that our booth is so busy and making me tired. But... It's wonderful. It's so much fun. I, I imagine they just want to meet you. You're that name on that post every month. <laughs> wow. In person. <laughs> uh, I know right now behind us, there is a SharePoint developer meetup going on oh, yeah. uh, out here. So that's why a bunch of our friendly faces, hi Matt, uh, are actually sitting uh, over there having uh, Mexican mules in Moscow. They have a five different mules bar going on, and you mm. had some chocolate covered bacon I as well. I did have chocolate covered bacon. So was, I see Mark Rackley's over there, that's why all well, the bacon's gone Well, if there's bacon now, anywhere, it's Rackley's gone. Gonna Do you have it. to be a SharePoint no. person no. to get no. the bacon? Because no. I want bacon. I think we should definitely take you out there here in a minute and make sure we get you some chocolate covered bacon and a mule as well, so. Mm. That's uh, good. Anything else you wanted to wrap up with, John? I'm, I, I, I just wanted to ask about the wardrobe, so I'm, I'm done. <laughs> uh, this is our final show from, uh, from Microsoft Ignite. Uh, this has been a great experience thus far. I think my voice is officially shot now, and I don't have to actually talk. Well, we have we the meetup meet tomorrow. tomorrow. So but, uh, if you're uh, watching this and you're here, come to the meetup. And I have a session after. I have the last session of the show. Yes, I don't you know. do. Oh, man. Yeah. I, I have a flight to catch. Yeah. I have a karate graduation to go watch. You my, do that. My older oh, son is, so uh, is graduating from white belt to orange belt, and I land at 530, and I will be at his graduation at 630. In oh, order. oh, wow. Yeah. It's a, they're tight timelines. but that is you know. It's like a well-oiled machine. United has a note for me. Make sure we get there on time. All right. I'm so. sure they'll, they're going to they're gonna double down their efforts. Well, you know, absolutely. I sent, it, I sent them a note. <laughs> yeah, don't talk to me about flights. No, that's what, you're flying north. I'm flying yeah, yeah, west. That's right. Don't, don't that's right. jinx my flight. Oh, I, have I, a, I have a journey concert on Saturday. I need to get oh, back. Oh, wow. Outstanding. Very Outstanding. Right, you just became our favorite power person. All right. And with that, we should go ahead and wrap. It's been great. John, I will see you. Wait, I don't know the next time I'm seeing you to do the show live and in person. I'm not sure either, but we'll, 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 well figure we'll it out. We'll, 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 we'll be back virtually. Anyway, yeah, but, exactly. All right, great. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah, thanks for having me. Right. Thanks a lot. Bye, Mom. Bye. <laughs>